Last week was probably my worst capping performance in a very long time and predictions performance in a very long time. I think I, well, I definitely got reverse swept on the Lockheed two-step and the Lockheed Trinity, so I don't really want to speak too much about it, but Melissa Gato ended up shit in the bed. Ishmael Bonfin shit the bed as well, and there's one more fighter who's escaping me at this moment in time, but regardless... All of them are dead to me. <laughs> I can't believe they all ended up losing. But that just seems to be the tail of the tape for the uh, the Lucky Two-Step and the Lucky Trinity, which have been pretty rough times over the last couple months. But I'm not going anywhere, hiding my face, letting go of this segment or anything like that. We're going to continue to do it and hopefully get back into the green within the next coming weeks. So... Uh, let's get right into it for the first leg of the Lockheed two-step the first step of the Lockheed two-step we're gonna go with Vitor Petrino I feel like he has a significant striking advantage here over Pragneo who likes to do a karate style of striking and he's done it you know pretty effectively in fights against uh, guys like Clear Roundtree and William Knight but I feel like he'll be dealing with another bulldozer in Mr. Vitor Petrino who will be crashing the pocket landing big shots on Pragneo and I think he'll eventually be able to knock him out in this spot. I think for Pragneo to win this fight he needs to implement a grapple heavy approach but I just don't think he can do anything effectively here against Petrino Trino, who has shown, you know, sketchy takedown defense, but very impressive get-ups and reversals, even when it looks like he's starting to slow down. Pragneo is a guy that also has a very sketchy gas tank, and I feel like we can see Petrino go out there and just put solid power, solid uh, combinations on him, and then eventually find the chin within that one and a half round mark or so. But I'm going to go with Petrino as the first step in the Lockheed two-step. Second step... We got to go with the featherweight goat and uh, Alexander Volkanovsky. A little bit chalky here around that minus 350 line. However, I feel like he's one of those must hit spots this week and he's the best guy at 145 pounds right now and you know unless there's some type of Usman Edwards type of thing going on here uh, I'd be surprised if Volkanovski loses this fight his durability off the chain his submission defense off the chain his just execution of game plans is just elite level and I feel like he can really utilize that power striking style of Yair Rodriguez utilize his footwork against him his momentum against him drag this fight to the ground do great work from on top um i've kind of been torn on what his method of victory is going to be this week i've been going with you know wins by decision because i think he might have to be a little bit safer and not overexpose himself too much but i feel like he can put a solid enough pace that he could potentially finish him too which is why i don't mind just parlaying the minus three 365 minus 350 that he's currently at and completing the lucky two-step he is the best featherweight on the world for a reason and i feel like he's going to be a very pissed off person coming back from that mahachev fight that he felt he should have won again close fight i scored it from mahachev but still a lot closer than the minus uh you know 350 minus 400 that makachev was going into that matchup regardless volkanovsky should win this fight without too much issue uh a full volkanovsky performance effective striking effective grappling and likely gets his hand raised by decision but as long as he wins that will complete the lucky two-step and you can currently get that for minus 125 on uh, bet mgm i believe it is it could also be bet online one of those two websites that i had putting it together regardless there's your lucky two-step if you want to complete the lucky trinity we got to go with chalk, right? It's, there's so much goddamn chalk on this card, but this is the other one that I feel pretty good about, and that's going to be Cameron Simon. I feel like he has a significant skill advantage here over Terrence Mitchell, who's just been beating up on Alaska FC bums over the last couple years, and it showcased when he took a step up in competition against a guy like High Car France. He couldn't even stand 30 seconds in the cage against a guy like that. Now you have a similar fighter in terms of explosivity, power, and speed, and I fully expect Simon to go out there and just put the beating on Terrence Mitchell here, uh, you know, survive the grappling that uh, Terrence Mitchell might be trying to implement with his long, lanky uh, limbs, uh, his wrestling, his jiu-jitsu. I think Simon is more than prepared for that, and I think that will allow him to go out there and just find the chin on Terrence Mitchell and put his lights out within a round or so, I believe. So there you go, Lockheed Trinity, if you add Simon in, to that lucky two-step you get plus 112 not the juiciest of odds for a three-legger but this entire card is full of chalk i tried getting at least some plus money for the lucky trinity and i was able to do it with cameron simon i feel better about him than i do robert whitaker in terms of whitaker's ability to avoid the big knockout power from duplessis so i'm going to go with duplessis fellow countryman cameron simon to complete the lucky trinity 
All right, there you guys go. Uh, make sure you guys check out the three best prop bets I'm going to be dropping on fight day. I'll drop it around noon so you guys can look, it out, look out for it at that point. And uh, yeah, let's have ourselves a weekend, folks. Also, lastly, uh, PFL goes down to, uh, tomorrow. LFA goes down tonight. If you're looking for breakdowns for those, the only place to find them, check the link in the description below for my personal Patreon page, and you'll get all the written breakdowns and predictions for those fights. All right, good luck on all your action this week, folks, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for the three best prop bets.